snow, H2O in its coolest form. Drones, the coolest thing in the sky. We've seen epic use of both over the years, but never at the same time. Snow MG, this is awesome. Wow, snow drones. Total game changer. When we built our biggest drone, we kept in mind that we would want to, to be able to lift a person. If we take propellers too big, it might not be stable enough. If we take the propellers too small, it might take too much power and it won't fly long. How is this drone strong enough to tow Caspers at 40 miles an hour? Normally drones are just for lifting themselves or lifting something up into the air. But in this case, Casper is using the drone to pull him forward. This relies on two things, the drone producing enough force and the angled flying position. There are four 26-inch or 66-centimeter propellers mounted on a cross-shaped framework. The propellers accelerate air behind them, delivering a huge thrust. That's 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. Thrust is the force that keeps the drone in the air and propels it forward. The drone needs to tilt vertically, and there's a point that he gets the maximum pulling force, and that's when the drone's tilted as far forward as it can get, but still has enough lift to keep itself in the air. The proportion of thrust working in Casper's direction is more than enough to overcome his weight and pull him along the snow. Drone boarding with a snowboard, it was fun. The pull is really strong. It's absolutely enough to, to carve and, and, and do some flatland tricks and, and you can uh, use the land where, where you wouldn't be able to snowboard like before. And when the snow melts, who cares? Woo! Drone boarding stays cool in any weather.